everyone. I'm Nancy. Welcome to my channel. To my returning subscribers, thank you so much. I appreciate your support more than you'll ever know. Um, just thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you click on that red subscribe button. I would love to have you come back and visit. And comments, of course, are always, always welcome. Especially to anyone that's watching this uh, video that does the plan with me videos or any other type of videos uh, regarding your planning books and your stickers and scheduling. I would love to hear your feedback on how you organize yourself, um, the best setups for for maybe filming, just interesting little tidbits that I think are going to help me go a long way for the little bit of your guidance. So I appreciate your support and patience as I'm learning this whole new process. So anyway, a couple of weeks ago I got this Erin uh, Condren planner. I was trying to get it out of the uh, ring light, but that's not going to work. So anyway, this one is the colorful one, but they have got so many different covers and you can always take these covers out. It's just on this ring. They're all kind of perforated right here. You can just rip them right off, change that cover out anytime you want to customize it. Uh, you can change it for the seasons, just whatever you want. So anyway, I am going to be using my book for motivation. Um, I've been trying to lose weight this year and I just want to keep myself motivated. You know, you get to your goal weight and that's when I have that yo-yo effect. So I'm hoping to keep myself motivated to help me make some healthy, some smart choices and stay on track. I want to use it for scrapbooking. I want to open this up and maybe put in some plans for the day, what I got to go in for the week. But I want to have space in here to put in pictures of my grandchildren or just just some interesting pictures maybe from my past um, and present. Just keep it interesting, keep it fun, keep it motivational any way I can. So I'm thinking this uh, book, it's going to help me reach some of those goals. And this is going to be my second plan with my plan with me video. And this I kind of went over in my last one, how I was using this uh, for scrapbooking and some interesting details. So I've got my family in here. So I've got our daughters, um, Raina, Raina and Sabrina and their families and their, their children, their husbands and pictures of um, my youngest daughter, Sabrina's wedding and with my husband Rick and myself and Raina and it's um you know just some pictures that I've got in there just I just want to keep some happy memories going forward and this was before I really knew about the sticker so you can see it's pretty basic I've got kind of like a setup how I thought I wanted it and it was okay it was like nothing nothing exciting and then I got gotten some stickers and I was like wow this the book is coming alive it's looking exciting it looks like when you look in here if you want to look back during the year to see things it's just to me this is motivational it's happy it's busy it's colorful i've got the grandchildren in here and um my my um elliptical stats with my steps and the hours and the miles i've got my weight any do chores and duties that I've got to do it's all in there and then of course I got more stickers and I, I absolutely love this page it is just so colorful and bright um, and going into fall we've got pumpkins and costumes and decorations so this is fun this is the way I think I want to have my book go and I've got you know like inspirational sayings and again uh, I've got weather in here just so when I plan to get in a perfect world, when I get planning and better in advance, I'd like to have the weather down for the forecast so I can kind of plan out my outfits for a few days. So, and then you finish it and you're pretty happy with the way it looks and then you come to blank page and it's like, oh my gosh, I got to start this all over again. What if it's not as good as the last one? And then it's like, you know, who cares? You do the best that you can. You buy some stickers if you don't have stickers you get some colored pens and you go from there but anyway for this week i am using this one that i got from planner loving mummy and this is just called the fall weekly kit it was number 2154 so i've got some washi strips um just some boxes here some chore list with hearts we've got some boxes and half boxes to use for background pictures and items to write in some weekly charts, some sayings, and some chores to do. Um, I already took the uh, dates of the week off and put them on there. And again, just some more of those little charts to put in. 
so I am going to get started and this kit didn't come with washi like for the top like the last time and I was going through different washi that I have but I'm just gonna leave it this blank from now and that way it'll keep it a little bit different and the last time one of the mistakes I made was um, I didn't have any white out with me and these dates are nice but they don't cover the whole thing so I am going to just cover just the bottom here so that I can probably have to get some new white out I don't even know how old this is and it doesn't have to be perfect because it was just the bottom part that was sticking out so that is where I'm going to start I'm just going to start with the dates and see what happens here so let's start with Monday see if I'm still in frame here and I'm not sure what I'm going to do for washi yet so I will leave that kind of blank for now and worry about it later and of course I just put Thursday on Monday so thank goodness this is uh, forgiving so this is Thursday the 24th Alrighty, that's looking better already when you have the dates down right. So I hope that everyone is having a great week or had a great week. Well, it's I'm a little behind in filming this. It is Wednesday night. Tomorrow is trick-or-treating and I'm still trying to do the week before. But it's it's a busy time of year. I've been busy at work. I do um, yeah, it's different stuff. It's a small company where we were everyone wears a lot of hats there and I just love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. I've worked for a really good company and so when this long days I don't mind putting it in because they've gone out of the way for me. So anyway I work between 12 and 14 hour days and the last few months I've been going in on the weekends just to try to keep up with paperwork and sales graphs and all kinds of pretty things and like I said it's a good company that I work for they let me work from home for almost a year so that I could give my husband 24 7 care um, and of course you know with the family leave act they could they could have just let me go but they set me up to work at home and still paid you know my insurances and I still got a paycheck every week so I will forever be indebted for them for letting me do that and spend the last year with him alrighty so that's looking good it just kind of kind of makes it come a little bit more alive then I think the next thing I want to do is Course, I don't really know what I want to do yet but I'm going to take these out and put them maybe not on Saturday and Sunday but to use them for the days of the week so the different colors and I probably am going to have to cut here and there but that's okay and of course you can see on this page right here because I used my exacto knife yeah and I went through the page last last week I was like oh yeah I can do this I can do this I don't need help yeah I did okay because I've seen other people do it and it just looked like oh I can do that that's easy but I might have to go get scissors And then of course in my first video because I was just all over the place trying to figure out how do you of course my knife's not too good but um, anyway I was just kind of all over the place and I didn't have the stickers that I wanted so I kept going back and forth between my book and my notebook and some loose stickers that I had and I ended up kind of you know just kind of shutting it off and filling things in and then I would I went back and did like a voiceover and fast forwarded it so there's different things that I've seen other people do and I 
can see that sometimes they're probably talking when they're doing their video, but they're still so that you can see all the different steps they're doing, but then they still kind of fast forward it. So I may end up doing something like that as well, but I just kind of wanted it to be a little bit more cohesive than it was the first time. And I'm probably not doing that now without folding the book. I think people fold the book so that they could do different things uh, in it. And I've seen a lot of, you know, I've been watching quite a few videos here and there. And there are just so many kits. I've been going crazy on Ed, Etsy looking. It's like I want it all. But, you know, you really can't buy it all because you can only use so much. But what are some of your favorite shops that you go to if you buy your uh, stickers on Et Etsy or if you have uh, different websites that you use? And, and do they people all have like regular sales and things like that that you look forward to or do you just kind of just go on every now and then and get a few weeks in advance and then of course trying to organize it and I just ordered some more things that should be coming in any day now so I think I probably what I probably want to do is try to figure out what I have for seasons and maybe just kind of start laying out my that little planner notebook that I have that I put the uh, sheet protectors in there so I think that's good for kind of writing down some things that you want to do for the day and I said like I said I don't know if I want to do that on Saturday and Sunday yet but but we will do it for the days of the week anyway And I hope that everyone is enjoying the weather. We're kind of getting into winter fast here in Minnesota. I think today when I left for work, it might have been about 21 degrees. There's frost on the window. I haven't figured out exactly how to get my car in this garage yet. I've got two motorcycles and a truck and I've got a ramp to get into the house and got a TV and some entertainment center and things out there and more tools that I don't even know what the tools are for. So my my car is out in the uh, out in the driveway. So next what I want to do is I'm just going to cover up this state right here and I made some of these little stickers for myself scissors and of course I just did it on this kind of paper which is kind of stupid I probably should have just done it on regular paper but but I did and I thought oh I'm going to put it on this uh, sticky paper maybe going forward I will maybe find someone that can maybe put this sticker on for me uh, maybe a little bit smaller on just regular sticker paper so that I can do it and this is actually my weight at the beginning of the week on Monday and then my weight on Sunday and and I'm hoping that by doing this and posting it and sharing it um, it's going to keep me honest it's going to keep me on track so if I notice that I'm gaining weight then I don't wait until it's too late again like it's usually what I do like you lose weight and you're doing good and then you kind of okay you let yourself go a little bit and you gain some weight and you say oh, well I lost it before and the next thing you know it's you're up five pounds and it's up oh, yeah I'll do it when I'm ready and then 10 pounds 20 30 40 50. next thing you know you've gained 50 pounds and it's like and it takes you forever to get motivated again because you want that instantaneous results which you don't really get and you really don't want it because then it's not going to last so anyway this is just a little face and, and back years ago on Facebook um, we made these little emojis or something of ourselves so that was me and um, then I just put this little scale on there so it's my weight at uh, what it was on Monday and what it was on Sunday which was really not too bad because I did try to gain a little bit of weight this week because I've been losing 
I think I probably lost a little too fast so my skin is not staying as toned as I would like so it's not looking as healthy and as pretty as I would wish it would alrighty so next what I want to do let me get back on this page and over in this in this column what I've been doing is I've been keeping track of my steps. I've got an under desk elliptical that I use at work, which is one of the best investments I have ever made for myself. And I bought that um, last January. And at the time, I was probably about 140, 150. And, you know, it wasn't the perfect weight, but I was comfortable where I was. I had clothes that fit. But I knew that it wasn't perfect for me. And I'm just going to put this right here. And so when I was, I went home last uh, year for Christmas and for New Year's. And I think uh, maybe New Year's Day or something, we were just sitting in front of the TV and checking my flight schedule and things like that. And I went on to see, oh, I had, because I had some things that I had ordered from QVC and I was checking to see if they had shipped yet. And what they had that day on the today's special value was an under desk elliptical. And so as I'm watching it, I'm thinking, you know, that might be just what I need just because I'm sitting at my desk for 12, 14 hour days. By the time you come home, you really don't feel like doing too much anymore. You sit down, get something to eat, you sit on the couch, and the next thing you know, you're sleeping. So I thought that might be a good way to get some activity in. And, and, and I said I wasn't really planning on dieting or losing weight. I just wanted to... Just try to do something to do something for myself. So I got that, and so I probably got I got it on January 10th. I actually received it, and I remember it was January 10th because that was my mom's birthday, and I thought that was pretty cool. It was kind of like her way of saying, "Nancy, get your button gear and get in shape." And from there, you know, I just uh, you know took me a while to really get into talking on the phone while I was peddling and typing and people coming in my office so it was kind of like well I'm kind of embarrassed a little bit doing this and and of course now it's it's just like second nature people come in they don't even know that I'm peddling under my desk like crazy I'm on the phone people don't know I'm peddling so I usually get between four and five miles in a day there are days that you know because you still got other things that you have to do at work so you're up in the back to the warehouse or you're shipping things and receiving things and then there's other days that I am just at my desk and just focused so much that it's just I, I get a lot of steps in so I, I did have a little bit of weight loss um, and I think I'd have to look at my notes but I had lost a couple of pounds maybe maybe five or ten pounds like within a two-month period and then uh, somebody that I watch on YouTube which I'm really bad I haven't had a chance to watch her channel in a while because I'm so far behind and her name is Stephanie Farrell Focus and uh, she's a photography business as well it's a really nice lady she is into isogenics and she had offered me to do a review on my channel for doing a week of the isogenic shakes and that's all I did I didn't change my diet I still just did the elliptical um, every day under my desk and the only thing I added was I had one of her morning shakes from isogenics every morning and instead of having my morning coffee or and um, and that just kind of within the first week when I went back at the end of the week because I wasn't weighing myself every day because like I said I wasn't really trying to lose weight and I had lost, I think, two pounds within that week. And that was the only thing that I did was different. I still had my regular lunches, my regular dinners. Um, Friday at work, a lot of times we have cocktails or we go out after work and have cocktails and appetizers. And we've got pizza for lunch and subs. Not the best choices that we have for lunch. Um, and so anyway, just adding that morning shake, um, I lost like two pounds. And I was like, this is... It's pretty exciting. I want to stick with this and just see what else I can do. So then I got into the isogenic shakes, doing that every day for breakfast. Um, I did add some of the isogenic bars. So instead of having a heavy sub or 
couple of pieces of pizza. You know, I, I added some salads and just uh, started trying to make some smarter choices. And so then the weight just started coming off a little bit more. So I'm down about 49 pounds from January 10th, but I really didn't start um, losing weight till like mid-March when I got into the isogenics and then started making smarter choices. But that's not why I'm here. So anyway, so this is what I have right now. So I've got um, these down for the dates, right under the date, and worry about this later. I'm, worried, I'm probably going to put a picture here. I've got some pictures of um, the grandchildren that I want to put in. And I've got the weather that I want to put in here. So I am going to shut the camera off momentarily. And I'm going to cut out because this was kind of cumbersome to cut this out while, you know, filming. So I'm going to shut the camera off. I'm going to uh, put my weather uh, icons up here. I might put a washi strip in right right here and then I will be right back. And I actually went a little bit farther than I had intended to. But anyway, this is the finished plan with me for October 2019 from Monday the 21st through Sunday the 27th. So what I wanted to do was um, I had already put these in that you saw with my elliptical stats. I had put in, I put the weather in um, and going forward, of course, I, I would like to get this done in advance and plan out the week and then just fill the rest of it in during the week and then maybe just put in the basics and then maybe come back at the end of the week and show you the finished. That's my plan. Doesn't always work out that way. But I did put a few things in here. So again, I didn't have the washi up here, uh, which I guess looks okay. But I think that when, once you've, you've, you've had kits that come with that kit, um, with that washi sticker, you kind of look forward to it. But it's not a deal breaker because that's really not the main plan of this. But anyway, so I've got my to-do list off to the side, different things what I had to do, whether it was going shopping, uh, looking for Halloween decorations, uh, doing laundry, trash day, I hate trash day, uh, more decorations, laundry, uh, working on the weekends, um, uploading videos, working on YouTube. Um, and again, I managed to put in a few items. So I've got Aiden and uh, Maddie Matt. I've got Jeff and Tori Pie. Uh, just different things. Uh, my, my movie night was really AKA watching the Hallmark Channel on my couch with some uh, skinny girl popcorn. Um, and again, just a few stickers here and there to kind of keep it interesting while putting in some chores, putting in things that I needed to do. And of course, right there, that was a fun time. I'm uh, checking out some planner supplies and putting in an order through Etsy. Had a Stitch Fix video this week um, that I had an unboxing to do and try on and then uploaded the video the next day. Um, down here, just as it's a picture of a in, in my backyard, and I took this a few years ago, and going out on the motorcycle in the fall was one of um, our favorite things that we wanted to do, and it got to the point where my husband couldn't ride anymore, and he was feeling kind of sad that he couldn't take me out on the ride, and I was kind of feeling kind of sad that we were we were home when it was so beautiful outside. And I had gone out with the puppies, let the puppies out, and I'm looking in the backyard, and we didn't have the ramp yet to uh, go out in the backyard. And so I just went out with my camera, and I just took uh, some pictures and a little quick video, and I came back in the house, and I plugged it into the TV, and I said, you know, I've got different videos um, from when we went riding out in Sturgis, and I, we just put them on the TV that day, and just uh, looked at the beauty that was in our own backyard, and just uh, just a reminder to just always look around. There's beauty everywhere, no matter where you live. And just live in the moment. And if you can't do what you want to do, then do what you can do. Um, and this is just a Halloween, maybe two years ago. I had worn that. Actually, I've worn that poodle skirt more than once. So anyway, but I love wearing that poodle skirt in my saddle shoes. And um, 
and I love this is when I get to wear our high school ring so I've got my husband's ring and my ring and so when I wear the poodle skirt I dress up like the 50s and I've got got on our class rings like we're going steady so anyway that is my plan with me for the week and again I didn't do everything on online because I'm not really good at this yet and I'd like to be better at it um, so anyway let me know your thoughts and I would love to hear um, some stories on how you got going on the planner um, did you just start putting in appointments and then later on kind of added to it to make it look a little bit more interesting or or just uh, exactly where do you go shopping just on Etsy for the stickers and do you have special deals or if you own a store or a sticker and you make some stickers and sell them online I would love to check you out so again thanks everyone for watching I hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up and check out my uh, Halloween nails they do glow in the dark by the way these are color strip nails love those because I have no nails of my own and I hope that everyone goes out, has a fantastic day. And whether you get a chance to write down everything that you did for the week, just go out and enjoy it. That's the whole point of life. Enjoy everything. And we will chat again soon, everyone. Bye-bye.